Hey, okay, everybody. Phil here with uh, Houston Kiteboarding and AmericanKiteboard.com. We have Rockney on the end there and Chris. Um, these guys are about to go out foiling um, with some clients, and we thought we'd make a quick video about the Slingshot uh, modular system, all the H series of wings. There's five wings. It's incredibly confusing, um, <laughs> right? We made a wing video a while ago, but it was pretty broad, so we're going to get right into it and kind of go over every specific um, wing in depth for surf, kite surf, and wake, and then mention a little bit about windsurf. We don't really windsurf, so um, you guys are on your own with that for the most part. Um, there might be a quiz at the end, so pay attention. I don't know, could be quizzy. Um, so wing one is the H1. You guys know what the H1 wing is? So basically the H1 is pretty much a hover glide blown up to, I would say, somewhere roughly between 25 to maybe 30% bigger. Um, so the guy that's looking for the H1 is somebody that really likes the hover glide, but maybe is a little bit heavier rider or looking to get a little bit more uh, lighter wind performance out of it, um, they're gonna probably wanna prefer the H1. For kiting. For kiting. Yeah, so we've had the H1 um, out in the surf a little bit. It's uh, fast, it's a faster wing. That's why it makes it, it, it may, it's actually a pretty good kite surf wing, um, just because kiting need a little more speed. In the surf, you need bigger waves for it. Um, I'm not gonna give you a wave size, just keep in mind that your foiling speed's higher, so you will need a bit more of a ramp to get up to speed to actually foil. Um, and then behind the boat, we had some clients out um, wake, wake surfing. Wake surfing. So again, um, what people are finding behind the boat, with especially like the hover glide, um, as much as there's been videos, people riding it and surfing it, um, I feel like a lot of those people are lighter weight. So if you're a heavier guy, you're gonna need that bigger wing for sure. For sure, but it is dynamic and stable, just like the just hover like glide. the hover glide. So, yeah. Literally, H1, big ass hover glide wing. That's just a little bit boom, bigger hover glide wing. Um, H2, what's the H2? H2. That's the H2. Um, how can you remember the H2? What is it? It's the windsurfing, low speed windsurfing wing, or no? Yeah, so I'll talk about windsurfing. Okay. So the H2 is literally an H1, which is a big blown up hover glide regular hub glide wing and they kind of flattened it. Show it. Yeah, you can see it right here. So instead of having that nice anhedral that went down, they literally just cambered up both sides to give it more lift up. I th in it, area wise, I think it's a bit bigger than H1. Would you guys agree? Yeah, uh, I think uh, because they flattened it out, you gain more area. Um, so definitely creating better lift. Um, this is actually the foil that they come with their F surf and they're obviously wind surf, but uh, the main thing we're, we like about this one is that that flatter lift area, great for getting up, easy to plane. Slower um, speed. Yeah. Slower speed slower for speed, sure. Exactly. And then the fact that they made it flatter gives it great uh, roll stability. So you're not, you know, with something more curved, you're gonna have an easier time carving around. This is gonna be a little bit more stable. So when you're learning to, you know. Whatever. Whatever foil. <laughs> um, you know, having that uh, roll stability is definitely helpful. Um, yeah. What do you guys think for kiting this way? Um, slow so speed. slow speed, bigger rider. Um, yeah, so again, if you're looking to get in lighter winds Super or lighter your wind heavier wind. rider, uh, definitely a good foil, but it's definitely slower overall than uh, any like the hover glider H1. So the problem with a lot of these surf foils when you're kiting is the way you know the kites work in light winds is you get up in eight miles an hour you get up to speed you get going 15 20 miles an hour and you have that relative wind hitting the kite so it actually feels more powerful than it is with a surf wing especially these big ones a normal size guy under 200 pounds you're going to get up to speed and sp the speed you're up to is like 13 miles an hour you know it's pretty low so you're, you don't have as much relative wind so if you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna get one of these big foils to absolutely solve my light wind dilemma, like I'm gonna go out in six miles an hour and get going, the kites, it's, you're still gonna have an issue because of that relative. Okay, so this is H1 is the big hover glide. H2 is the flattened hover glide, um, bigger obviously. And then the H3 is what? You remember? H3? Towing. Towing. Yeah. Uh, surf towing. So basically yeah. they've taken even the size of a hover glide and shrunk it down even smaller um, to basically, I guess, go to Jaws, right? So if you're yeah, uh, up, you're that in. guy that wants to tow into Jaws, yeah, that's the wing you're looking for. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, basically if you're a really light rider looking for 
high winds or big waves, maybe go with that. But our oh. recommendation is stick with these bigger wings. They're probably going to be more what you're looking for. It's just I don't see you. I don't. I literally, you know, and I don't hydrofoil jaws, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but I mean, I just don't see it. Uh, a spot where that fits in um, could be like you said high wind kiting could be high wind kiting um, for sure could be you know behind the boat I just don't know why you'd want to go so fast with on a foil you know it's just super fast um, yeah more performance wing is, is what they're going for yeah, I so guess maybe if you have a hover glide behind the kite or on the kite and you want to get a lot faster maybe try it try it out um, but the system has quite a bit of drag so I don't know how much you know I don't know how much faster you're gonna get um, so that's H3, little tiny baby wing. H4, bat wing. Bat wing. Bat wing. That's it. And that's the one that has a, a really low aspect shape. It's real thick. Um, we've had it out kind of in every situation. Uh, what do you think of the bat wing for kiting? So for kiting, um, definitely a very slow foil, lots of lift. Um, so again, if you're really trying to push that really low wind stuff, um, probably a good foil for you. Um, the other cool part is because of its shape, it actually is very fun in the roll turn. So as you're carving around, it actually kind of picks up speed and energy. So so you can literally almost park your kite and just do some S turns on it and you'll actually cruise along, um, which is really fun to do. So between, it sounds similar to this, but, except roll stability. Yeah, this has a ton of roll stability. So you try to turn it and, it, and it's fighting you. That wing does not fight you at all. Actually, it likes you to turn it. So again, um, if you're looking for stability uh, at first, this is something more you're gonna want. But once you kind of get better at it, um, that uh, F4 H or H4, H4, yeah, H4 wing, sorry. Super confusing. It is very confusing. <laughs> uh, the H4 wing, I think is something that's gonna be a lot of fun for a lot of people. And again, it definitely has a surface area to create a lot of lift. So a lot of these like real surf foil wings that uh, people are using and stuff, uh, you know get you out in the water more days for sure um what do you think for surfing so for surfing it's um, kind of the go-to it's the go-to um and one of the nice things um one thing that's nice about the uh surf wings when they come is they come with this insert so if you are using it for surfing um and you're using one of the other placements on the fuselage you can just kind of tie that in and it's nice and flush a lot less drag so the h4 is the bat wing which uh what about for so we didn't hit behind the boat yeah, so behind the Wait. boat, it's actually really interesting. So again, like I said, they, they showed a lot of videos of the hover glide, but these bigger wings are definitely gonna be way more fun and easier behind the boat. Um, but the H4, they actually have a claim where they can go all the way back to the third wake. So that means that when you count those wakes, you got the first wake right by the boat, you go second wake, third wake. I even heard they went to the fourth wake back, but with that wing, they were able to pump it, that side to side motion and stay on the wave all the way to the fourth wave behind the boat, which was really incredible. So that tells you how much lift you're getting. You don't need to be up there in that pocket with that crashing, breaking wave. You can be back on the fourth wave where it's just nice, smooth glassiness and surfing it. Um, this again here, this uh, H2, um, again, for those guys wanting to learn it, getting into it, probably a great board. Um, again, like I say, so when you're in that wave pocket and you're, you're trying to figure out your stability, this is going to help against that rolling um, problem you're going to run, yeah, run into. So in the times we've had it, we do a lot of training um, and having guys, new guys or experienced guys on the H4, they generally have, the H1 or the H4, they generally have more fun, wouldn't you say? Yes. Because it's a learning situation, so we're usually you know, getting them up in a controlled manner behind the, behind the jet skis. Um, so they're going to have no fun no matter what, but it just seems like on the H4 and the H1, you know, you get them up to speed and, and they, they start, start doing, carving. exactly, start carving earlier than on the uh, H2, H2, you yeah. know, which it, it's better if somebody has really like baseline skills, like they're really nervous, you get them on this and they're kind of up and it's very stable, you know, there's none of that side to side, um, but that's just kind of my experience with yeah. it. Um, okay, so finally the H5, which is the... Um, hover glide. Yeah, which is the straight up kiteboarding hover glide. Um, I'd take this to Jaws over the little baby one. What do you think? Yeah, no, honestly, I think big waves. I mean, big waves. I mean, I surf this. Yeah, I personally have gotten ridden one of these things up to about twenty-five miles an yeah, hour. They're um, fast. They're fast. So I mean, unless you got way pumping faster than that, it's I don't, crazy. I mean, it's yeah. crazy fast. So I mean, again, overall, um, definitely great kite uh, kite wing. It's been out for the last two years. Fantastic, um, fantastic all wing yeah. all around. Um, but like I said, I think 
some people run into maybe they're a little bit heavier and they're not able to get this thing boiling on the speeds they want you pump it up you you bump up to the next wing yeah. cap size and that's what's really great about this modular system is that you can get the wing that's going to work for your conditions yeah um right now if you're really looking for that light wind kite wing um, we are kind of recommending people go for the h4 right now and the main reason is because it's going to give you the best lift and it's actually quite fun to ride once you're once you're kiting but again it's definitely not the one you want to learn with right yeah. um, or it might also be um, too slow for kiting because of the relative wind mm -hmm. so the, the h1 for big kiting is actually um, in most instances the one to go with because it's literally the same as this it's just a little slower um, right the h4 is it's slow so that it's relative super slow. yield and it's you know we're kind of speaking out of two things there's there's a lot of different specific instances we talked to guys using these on SUPs and lakes where the winds really gusty and light and then the bigger the wing is better but if you're using it on a normal hydrofoil board the H1 is probably going to give you more range for speed and it's probably going to be more comfortable in light winds because of that relative wind issue um, so the hover glide for wakeboarding is their go-to uh, system so they sell this with the, the with wake, wake boiler set up yep um comes with the 24 inch mass i think it's 15 and 24. yeah 15 and 24. so this is super robust but like chris said it's fast so for surfing it's only big surf um guys try and take their kite gear out to surf it and it's like i mean you got to tow in and then once you're on it you're just going to come right off that wave because it's so fast it's mm -hmm. not fast enough. it has to be a big big wave which is why the h3 the tow-in wing is like what <laughs> you yeah know, like, what? like i said big waves like probably what you easily surfing? 10 to 12 oh, foot faces bigger on up. bigger yeah, man 25. i mean this thing is so fast i can't imagine so we haven't been on the h3 um and it's like i don't even know what we use it for <laughs> you know we'll have to get one one of these days and try it try it out um, yeah. yeah try yeah. it out so that's kind of the the full deal on the wings um time for a quiz so we're gonna quiz rockney He's in, uh, he's doing the college thing here, so he's all tested up mm -hmm. and ready for uh, quiz time. Um, what is the H1 wing? It is the large hover glide wing. Yeah, blown up hover glide. 20 to 30 percent Yes, yes, exactly. What is the H2? The H2 is this one that I'm holding right here. Not dynamic in the roll, so more stable for new people. Yes, and it's the one that comes with the F-Surf package. So good beginner surf, good beginner uh, wind surf, um, great for low speed wake foiling for wake brand foiling. new guys. It's brand very new stable. guys, very stable. Um, what about the H3? The H3 is the uh, Jaws surfing. Ah, boom. Pumping, towing What's wing. What's up? Towing <laughs> wing, jetpack. Yeah. Jetpack style. Um, the H4? The H4 is the bat wing. Bat wing. Really so. dynamic in the roll. Uh, ton of lift, so ton of lift, slow, yep. Yeah. So that's the recommended intermediate surf yeah. length. Um, and the H5 is the original hover glide. Okay, so one last thing we're going to talk about is um, the uh, kind of system has a bunch of questions. Slingshot has two shims, these are uh, just anodized CNC cut aluminum pieces. They have a wake, surf, windsurf shim and then i think they have listed a kite shim okay shim. anyway there's two shims listed they are exactly the same there is no difference you can buy either one and it will work perfectly on any system so mm -hmm. if you have the old shim that came with your original kiteboarding hydrofoil you can use it on any windsurf wake or surf setup complete complete yeah. um the last thing i'd like to mention is this the switch fuselage comes in two lengths i think it's 610 and the other one's like 100 uh, millimeters longer um, this is the 610, and uh, they're both identical, one's just longer than the other. The only reason you'd use the longer fuselage is for windsurfing, am I correct? Can you think of any reason? Uh, windsurfing and possibly surfing. And like I say, we stress to everybody, if you're kite foiling any of these, the, the mass has to go through yeah. that wing. Doesn't matter what foil it is, make sure that mass goes through the wing. So when you switch the switch fuselage, um, you know, and use the back side, this side's actually uh, or this is going to be farther away from the wing. Yeah. For surfing, kind of my go-to recommendation for setup is it's not going to be through the wing, it's going to be back. And do the setting where it's the closest one. Closest. Yeah. yeah, so you switch the fuselage so that this is the closer one to the wing. Yeah. 
So if we switch this around and plugged it back in, this would be like here. Yeah. So hopefully that's clear. It just it's going to be like an inch from the back of the wing, any of the wings. That's the one you want to start with for surfing. Yeah. And like he said, you can switch it, you know, if you want earlier plane or whatever, but that's just a good baseline. Some guys will start here and uh, yeah, don't start there. <laughs> or they'll put their foil or mast here for kiting and it's like they're hanging tent. Yeah, that's why I basically felt like whenever <laughs> I put the mast back here, I was having to be all nose on nose yeah. on the board to keep it down. Okay, anything else? You think we hit it all? Hopefully the confusion is gone. Uh, what do you think? I think we got it. We got it. Any thoughts, Rockney? Well done on the quiz, 100%. 100% out of five questions. Yeah, yeah. should we get your, uh, should we get you a toe in hydrofoil? Yeah. For Thanksgiving. Yeah, we're going to get him a toe in yeah. foil. He's the uh, lightest one, so. Yeah, lightest one. I'm going to learn how to surf in draws, maybe, so. Toe in. Yeah. Not toe in, you're going to paddle in. He's going to paddle in. We're yeah. going to force him to no paddle. Problem. Get some tips. <laughs> All right, so that's it. We're signing out. Um, AmericanKiteBoring.com. Feel free to give us a call if you have additional questions or if you need to order any of this stuff. We have almost all of it in stock, except for the H3. And that's it. Awesome.